Tim Duncan uh, exercising that option. What are the expectations from the Spurs now on Big Timmy? Repeat. <laughs> Just like that. That's simple. I think so. Look, this isn't news. He signed up for this, took a major pay cut to build the rest of this roster, led by example that way, and they build around him. So you know he's going to finish as a spur with a handful of rings, literally. Yeah. And, you know, they're going to go for one more. So I think they'll take a deep breath, try to retool, and say, somebody come beat us. And with the way he's battled Father Time and mm -hmm. conquered Father, Father Time, good for San Antonio. It's great to see Tim Duncan back. Now you mentioned Father Time. You mentioned the amount of time that Duncan has been playing. But realistically now, everyone thought maybe last year or this year, how much gas does he have left in the tank? He didn't sound tired at all, did he, this year? I mean, all those interviews at the end of the year, he, there wasn't even an issue or a concern. I do think he's the type of player that's just going to turn it off and go away. And he'll, he's not going to tinker to the end. So I'd say another probably two to three years at, at least, at least two. Once he finally moves on, uh, who's the next guy that's going to be that star and try to replace his humongous shoes that Duncan left? In San Antonio? In San Antonio. Well, I think they've already dubbed Kawhi Leonard that hope of the future. They've smartly managed their books. You're going to see the expiration of the contracts of Duncan and Parker and Ginobili. Then you've got Kawhi Leonard and their other young talent, plus the ability to, they'll again, do it over with free agents that they like. So San Antonio, not only best on the court, best in the salary cap management, long-term structuring of their deals. All right, so San Antonio gets Big Timmy back. They win a championship this year. Mm -hmm. If there is one, what is the Achilles heel to finally dethrone San Antonio? Well, they, they can go bad here at times, mm -hmm. and they had this – razor sharp edge this year because of what had happened in the finals last year so they aren't going to come back with that hard mm. diamond razor edge that they had to get through everything and oh by the way Oklahoma City and Houston and the Clippers are all coming after them and Portland <laughs> there are so many teams in the West that are so good and are coming of age that just the law of averages would see them slide back in the normal cycle only time will tell the good news for San Antonio Spurs fans is that big Timmy isn't going anywhere. Tom, thanks so much.